Hey everyone, my name is Brian, and welcome back to my LEGO investing channel, Brick Dynasty. I've been investing in LEGO since about 2011. I took a few years off in between, but I've been back seriously investing for the past two and a half years. Today, I'm going to cover some big news out of LEGO.com in Europe. LEGO has added over 300 sets to their last chance to buy page in Europe. Some of these sets weren't even on the Brick Fanatics retirement list, and then there are other sets that some investors were questioning if they would actually retire due to their short shelf life. So there's definitely some great news that I'm going to cover here, but there's also some sets on this list that have me a little confused, so let's get into it. A while back, LEGO used to have a section on their website labeled Retiring Soon. LEGO would add sets that were retiring at the end of the year to the section to give LEGO fans a heads up that these sets were about to be out of production so they could get a hold of them. But since then, LEGO has rebranded that section to Last Chance to Buy. It's really essentially the same thing. It's LEGO just letting people know that these sets won't be around much longer. The page on the US site only has about 90 something sets right now, but the European sites have over 300 sets. To navigate to another country's LEGO site, you just go to lego.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and click on your region. From there, a whole list of the other country sites will pop up and you can select the country you want to see. I'm not sure why LEGO would put different lists in different regions, but LEGO doesn't retire sets by region. If they retire a set in one place, they're going to retire it everywhere else. So this list also applies to the US. I'll start off with the sets that I'm excited about seeing on this list. That first one is the Hungarian Horntail Dragon set. This set has not been on any of the Brick Fanatics retirement lists but it has been projected to retire on the Brick Tap retirement list that's posted on the LEGO Leak subreddit each month. And as well, Brickset has been saying it's gonna retire at the end of this year. So I was a little bit on the fence as to if this was gonna retire, but now that it's on this site, I'm really excited about this set. I had been holding off. I hadn't bought any until the latest gift of purchase period on lego.com with the Gringotts Vault. Um, but yeah, this set is one of the three flying creature builds in the Harry Potter line. In the past, they had Fox. That was also a Target exclusive. That was a $40 set. And it's going for, I think, around $70 on eBay right now already. So that set has done pretty well. This Hungarian Horntail set is priced at $50. So it is $10 more than that set. And there's also the Hedwig set that's retiring at the end of this year. That is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And that set is priced at $40. So this set is priced $10 more. So it's going to have a little bit of a lower perceived value because of the other sets in this line being cheaper. So that is something to keep in mind with buying at a discount. Um, I am excited about this set for investing, but only if I can get it at the right price. I'm looking for 40% off on this set. And we may not ever see 40% off on the set from Target because it's also a Target exclusive. If we don't, your best pet is buying this from lego.com during a good gift of purchase with double insider points, a good cash back from Rakuten or Honey. I think the best time to buy this set has already passed during the Harry Potter promotion that just happened with the Green Gods Vault that you could have got for a $130 purchase. I think that was the best time to buy. You could have gotten that gift with purchase, sold it for around $60, and then got 7% cash back through Honey, and credit card points and insider points. So you would have created a very good discount on this set for yourself. Now, I think you may still be able to get a good discount from lego.com, but not quite as good. The next set I was excited to see on this list is the Battle of Endor Heroes. This is a set a lot of people have been keeping an eye on as well because it was released just earlier this year and it'll have a really short shelf life because of that. On top of that, it's also a lego.com and lego store exclusive. So this set is really set up for success and I'm gonna feel comfortable buying the set now that it's on the lego website as retiring soon. If you wanna hear my, me go into more detail on the set, check out my lego star wars retiring soon video. I'll go into more detail in the set there. But my buy price I'm looking for on the set is just 20% off. Also on this list were the three Lego Minecraft Brickhead sets. These were only released in April of this year. So another set that's gonna have a really short shelf life and is a Lego exclusive. I'm really looking forward to buying these sets for investing. If you wanna hear my full take on them, check out my Lego store exclusives video. But 
For investing, I'm looking to buy this set at around 30% off. Another set with a really short shelf life was the new Guardianship. It was released this year. A lot of people thought it might get extended. I haven't done a deep dive on this set yet, but I will be putting out a video about all the retiring Marvel sets at some point in the future. So be on the lookout for that video if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the set. But for now, I'm looking to buy this set at around a 35% discount if I want to buy it for investing. The last set for this section is the chess set. This was also not on the Brick Fanax retirement list, but is on the Lego League subreddit list and on Brick Set projected to retire at the end of this year. This set's been around for quite a while, about seven years. It's a Lego store exclusive. A lot of chess sets have done well in the past, but it's due to their army building minifigures like the Vikings or Castle or Kingdoms chess sets. This set doesn't have any cool minifigures or anything, so I think that's gonna hamper its potential return on investment in the future. If you wanna hear my full thoughts, check out the Lego Store exclusives video I have on my channel. But if I'm looking to buy for investing, I'll look for around a 40% discount. I just wanna jump in here really quickly and announce the start of the Brick Dynasty Patreon. It's packed with a ton of useful resources, and I think it's gonna be huge for every Lego investor. A few of the perks that we have in this Patreon is going to be a monthly Patreon exclusive video. I'm going to discuss the latest about Lego investing, any topics that are pertinent going on in the community. I will be posting buy alerts every time I'm buying a Lego set for investing and I'll also be sharing how I'm buying it for the cheapest possible price. We'll have monthly meetings with the whole Patreon group to discuss Lego investing and Lego topics. You'll get access to a template of my personal inventory tracker that I use. I created it myself. I think it is amazing. And one of the best perks, in my opinion, is a compiled retirement list from Brick Fanatics, Brick Tap, and the Brick Set retirement dates. I compiled them all into one list and created columns indicating whether it was projected to retire on each list or not. On this uh, document, I also have relevant information like the MSRP, the piece count, the shelf life, when it was released. I also have columns indicating whether it's a Target, Walmart, Amazon, Barnes & Noble exclusive. Pretty much all the information you need about the sets that are retiring this year are going to be in this sheet. This took me forever to <laughs> compile and I will be updating it monthly. So I think this is going to be a huge time saver for everyone. You won't have to do any manual research on these sets at all. I'm basically doing it all for you. And included in this sheet, I will have I have target buy prices for every single set. So what I would buy each set for is in this sheet. So that's really helpful. And then one of the last things we have is a Lego sale calendar. I made a Google calendar and every time there's a Lego sale coming up at a retailer or a gift of purchase period on lego.com or double insider points, any other relevant dates for a Lego investor to know, it's going to be on that calendar. So you can just take a look at that calendar and know when you need to be alert for different sales and promotions and things like that. So the link to join is in the description. Also, there is a second tier uh, available as well, where you'll have a one-on-one -on -one monthly meeting with me where we can have discuss personalized Lego investing strategy, talk about where you're at in your journey, and I'll answer any questions that you have. And you'll also be able to DM me anytime with any questions you have throughout the month, and I'll just be available to, to answer those. So as I said, link to join is in the description. I really hope you check it out. I think it's a great value for what I'm offering and I'm gonna be putting a lot of work into this in the future as well. So I'll always be attentive and updating things and engaging the community. So I really encourage you to check it out and I hope to see you there. Now there are a few sets on this last chance to buy list that I am confused about because they're not on any other retirement list. It was, for example, the Everyone is Awesome set, the Yellow Taxi, the Sonic Ideas set, the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, just to name a few. None of these sets are projected to retire by any other list, so I'm kind of confused on if they actually will retire or not. Um, like, does this invalidate all the sets I was excited about before because those are on retirement lists, but these aren't? There was a recent post on the Lego League subreddit saying that Maybe they have an old version of the projected retirement dates. So does this invalidate the other sets I'm excited about? I don't think so. I'm not overthinking it. I'm still gonna feel comfortable buying 
the first sets that I mentioned in this video if they're at the right price point. But as far as the sets that aren't on any other retirement list, I'm going to stay away from them for now unless they get added to some lists. And then there's just another interesting note I want to add here. There were three sets that I noticed that are projected to retire on the BrickTap list posted on the LEGO League subreddit that were not on this LEGO Last Chance to Buy section or on Brick Fanatics retirement list or Brick Set. And those three were the Train Station, the Fender Stratocaster, and the Porsche 911 RSR. I don't really know what to think about these. I'm just going to stay away from them. I would rather buy sets uh, that are about to retire that I know for sure are. And even if I miss out on these sets, I'm not going to feel bad because if they don't retire at the end of this year, I'm going to be holding on to them for like two and a half years and it's just not worth it for me. I would rather miss out on them than be stuck holding on to some inventory for a really long time. That's just how I personally feel about it. So those are my takeaways from the Lego Last Chance to Buy section. Definitely some great news and then some confusing news. We'll see how it plays out over the next few months. And just a reminder, go ahead and check out my Patreon in the description below. I would love to see you there. If you found this video helpful, definitely leave a like on it. It helps out my channel a ton. And if you want to see more LEGO investing content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I put out LEGO investing content every Monday and Thursday. And if you have any questions or comments about these sets or any thoughts about retirement lists in general, definitely leave a comment down below. I would love to talk about LEGO investing with you. As always, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am only documenting my journey as a LEGO investor, and I encourage you to do your own research before buying any LEGO sets.